Hi everyone, it's Rachel with Remax up in Big Bear. Today I'm gonna walk you through this great log home over at 618 Knight Avenue. So come check it out. Okay, so here we are at the street, 618 Knight Avenue. Sits on a corner lot of Carter and Knight right here. So first thing I wanna point out, um, and this is a dead end street Merced, but lot line gonna likely be right here. And then we'll walk all the way around. The lot size on this home is 52.50. Great log home. So the house kind of sits at the back right corner of the lot. So a lot of the land is kind of up to this area over here. And this is listed with Sotheby's, Paul Zamoida. Um, I might as well walk you around this corner too. So I have a new listing coming up up the street as well. And just put one into escrow right about where that guy is doing construction. So here is more additional parking on the lot. And then at the back of the lot, right around here is, uh, could potentially just be right here. Looks like there's a gray area right here. I'd have to check the parcel map. So a few stats while we're walking back to the front door on the home. It is three bedroom, two bath, 1440 square foot, built in 1995. You do have a vacation rental across the street. And then I think you have a bed and breakfast down there at that white that white fence. So kind of desert scaped all the way around. It's kind of like dirt, rock, trees. Trees give it good privacy too. So you've easily got two car parking, three, three car parking over on this side. So the beams look like they're doing really well under there. Big hardy, they're in concrete. Very healthy looking wood too. The deck, it seems like they've taken really good care of that as well. Seems like it's been recently oiled. Roof, probably original. Well, no, I don't know. Cause it's about 30 years old, but the roof looks like it's actually in really good shape. So here we are entering the main part of the home, living room, dining room, kitchen. And so one thing to note are the vaulted ceilings tongue and groove, river rock, fireplace. And the one thing that I would probably do in here, like while the carpet is in good shape, I probably would update the carpet just a little bit, um, just cause it is, it is that older green that's possibly even from the original build of the home. We do have dual pane windows. Kind of this little pop-out bay window area over here. I'm not entirely sure what this is for. There's only one. I don't think it has anything to do with curtains because we have these three-day blinds that come down. So I don't know. You tell me if you know what that is. Very good-sized living room, too. 
So here we have the fireplace. It does go all the way from the floor to the ceiling. It does have a gas starter on it. So the good thing about that is that you don't have to play Boy Scout. You can just get the gas going. Throw a piece of paper with some wood or lit on fire in there and boom, you have a fire. So transitioning from this green carpet, we have, this is uh, like a higher end linoleum. Um, it looks like tile, very deceiving. It really looks like tile. But it's super clean. I like this light fixture here too. Kitchen. Just, you know, super clean appliances. Nothing like too updated, but they did update this. Got dual sink. White tile. Cabinets that... I like these knots in the cabinet too. And the other good part about it is they do have bar sitting so you can eat at the counter. Um, I will take you back here right now. So we've got a screen door. You could put a privacy fence up back here, but see, it's really hard to tell what the lot line is because if you match up with what they've got going on, it's pretty tight, close right here. That could be the pop property line, um, maybe five feet, six feet, or it could match up with this. You just have to see if it goes down and meets that way or not. But it's nice because you can enter the kitchen and come in through the back from this parking or in the front. Might as well walk you back this way too. They've got a whole lot of these like plumbing, exposed plumbing type things. I think this is just like a rack of some sort. Um, water heater closet. And so one rare thing that the house does have is the air conditioning. Um, not too many people up in Big Bear have that. And then again, I'm not sure if the this could be the property line, but they have that going all the way down. So uh, we'd have to check and see what's going on if it matches up right there. So just a couple streets away from the village of Big Bear Lake to walking distance. I would consider it also walking distance to the uh, lake and Meadow Park as well. So coming down, we've still got the, so for the rest of the house, except the bathrooms, we have this green carpet. Cabinets. A remote thermostat and then here's gonna be bathroom one super clean um, linoleum floors they did update these handles that looks like probably since the original this is gonna be a it's not quartz it's that heavy one um, like a marble And then we've got the plastic insert. This one seems deeper than normal, but very clean. The rental, super easy. And right around the corner from the village. Here we go with the laundry. They, both, they have all the appliances in the home. So once we get down here and we have the laundry on our right, uh, we have bedroom bedroom master so let's go into bedroom one likely gonna have bed here maybe a headboard that would kind of cover I'd almost prefer those those blinds that come from the bottom up and then you'd have kind of like a 
like a treetop view, but you'd also have a view of the top of their roof. So no, no stains on the carpet either. Like it is in really, really good shape. And then a full closet as well. We do have central heating along with air conditioning. And again, air conditioning is a very, very rare up here. Um, we do not see too much of it, but people obviously are starting to put it in because there's, you know, not just two hot days a year. Now it's like 10. Um, neighbors have air conditioning too. So this, um, I'd probably, again, would put headboard over here. Could easily fit, fit a king bed in here. They do have updated fans. Super clean. And again, closet. Then here, we've got the master. So you can definitely get a cow king in here. I like the gold accents that they've used. Um, it seems different from the original age of the house. They probably would have had the silver or nickel. But in this one, you have a walk-in closet, which is kind of nice because if you're going to use it for a rental, you might as well just lock this off and keep it as like your extra toilet paper, paper towels, extra linens, things like that. Um, and again, on these, you can switch the direction of the fan, pull the heat up or push it down. And then another little bay window pop out right here. This kind of overlooks the driveway right here. The best way to get to the village from here would be up this street. So go up night and kind of just meander along Knickerbocker. And then this is a nice little, we've got the sink on the outside of the bathroom. But same materials used in both of them. You know, this, the these, um, same the same cabinetry all throughout the house too. Laminate or linole, sorry, linoleum. And then the other bathroom. So this is the second bathroom. The home is 1440 square foot. And the most interesting fact about this house so far is that they were listed at 675 and they just dropped it to 599. Um, so that just really shows you how uh, motivated they really are. Um, so this one, we have been on the market for 55 days. And would just be a great vacation rental. Definitely a primary home too. I think it would qualify for that. Having laundry, air conditioning. You know, like um, it's got all the features that somebody looking for a primary would be looking for. All right, so that is it. And again, listed at five ninety nine. Let me know if you have any questions. Bye.